Good morning. All right. Got my coffee. I'm good to go. See, check. Okay. So we're going to go downstairs and we're going to talk to Deb. She's going to tell us about first time home buyers and what programs that they can go with and things to do. This is April. She makes it rain. Hi, April. Okay. Hi, Dan. How are you? Hey. What's hey. Up? He's awesome. He rocks. Deb right here with leader one. All right. <laughs> Hey, How Deb. Good morning. Good morning. Our first Tuesday topics. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so I told the folks we're coming down here to talk about first time home buyers and the kind of program they could okay. go with for that and just tips on what they need to do to get started. Okay. Um, what I would tell you if I were a first time home buyer, knowing what I know, I would go with FHA. Okay. And reason why it's pretty forgiving on say credit scores and you're going to get better rates even at a lower credit score mm -hmm. um, go to higher debt ratios and you can also go with a low down payment which is three and a half percent three and a half percent yeah okay. so let's say your buyer he's buying at a hundred thousand he would need thirty five hundred dollars okay so and then you can negotiate the seller, you know, actually doing some of the closing costs, if not all. Mm -hmm. So, and the other neat thing is um, they make it where you can actually have a family member help out with gift payments. Oh, yeah. Like a, We've, a, had that. We've done payment. that before with folks, yeah. yeah. Not everybody out. qualifies for that. Sometimes it's uh, our desktop underwriting will actually not allow us to do it She's that busy. way. She's busy. See, your phone rings. <laughs> That's right. It's constant. <laughs> so, but I would tell you the best thing to do is to call us and let us help you with the pre-approval. Mm -hmm. So then we can get an actual feel for, you know, your specific situation. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but along with the low down payment uh, credit, you probably want to be about a 620. We can go lower, uh -huh. but there's some little caveats there I would discuss with you that you'd have to do to go lower, but it could go down to a 580. What if somebody has no idea about what their credit is? Because we get first time home buyers that call us up. Yeah. And they just know they want a house and they don't know what their credit is. They're not sure. Do they just give somebody like you a call yes. and you help them get started on that? Yes. That is the very best thing to do. And then that way we can get a game plan going because sometimes yes. they might need a little time to save some money. Mm -hmm. uh, might have a few little things to work on such as credit. And that is the very best way to do it. It's free. It doesn't cost them a thing. It might take us, you know, just a few minutes over the phone. We've got an online website too that they can go to, whatever's easiest. Right. But that's the first place to stop for sure. And then, time being our friend that gives us, you know, a way to help them get a game plan going so we can get them on track for right. buying a house. And we've had people so. that we've helped that maybe they they we've had some people take as long as a year to get the credit right mm -hmm. but the, the point is like you said to have a good game plan and know what you're doing and it could be just 30 to 60 days or 60 to 90 days or it could be longer but right. the point is you know that's why we stick with them and help them out so that's so right FHA first time home buyer credit score 620. 620 at least but you can go lower than that yes okay um, three and a half percent down. Three and a half percent down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any kind of conditions when, um, just real quick, like when they're looking for houses with FHA, what kind of houses can they go for with FHA? Like you know, it can condition. be a it can be a home that's dated. It's totally fine. You know, you can refer to it as dated or ugly or whatever you want to say, mm -hmm. as long as it's structurally sound. Okay. So as long as there's no problem with. Um, them getting hurt like let's say a buckled floor you know those would be things they would have to fix so safety stuff yes electrical. being the seller would have to fix okay yeah safety or the integrity of the home let's say a gutters off or there's some wood rot a few of those little things which are minor usually mm -hmm. can be negotiated right and fixed. And we, yeah we go through that okay yep. cool well thank you for your time you i don't want to make this forever for folks but um thank you and yeah we'll do this again deb absolutely so, well thank deb. you Bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So that was time with Deb this morning, and we use her a lot. Um, and we have a couple other lenders that we use too. But having a good lender on your side with us helping you look for a house. It's all about teamwork. It's all about having a team and a plan, like she said. So anyhow, just wanted to uh, take a little bit of your time and give you some information. So hope you have a great morning, and uh, we'll be talking to you again.